The people who look for shaitan, they'll find him. There he is. Iblis. Khabis. <laughs> Grab hold of him. Yeah, let's, let's tear him apart. It's him. Him. So they'll come to him and they'll say, Iblis. Yeah, Mr. Big Man. The biggest of all big men, Mr. Big Man. You're the one who led all of, the, all of us to Jahannam are going today because of you. He's going to say, you know, Iblis, Iblis is, uh, Iblis is crafty, but you want to see how crafty is on the Day of Judgment. He's going to say this, Inna Allah wa'adakum wa'ad al-haqqi wa wa'adtukum fa'akhlaftukum Allah gave you a promise and I gave you a promise. Allah gave you the promise of the Quran and I gave you a promise of whispering into your minds and your hearts. Allah told you, you will get Jannah for this. I told you, don't worry about it. Just do it. Just do it. It's nice, man. It's nice. Enjoyable, man. Enjoy it, bro. I said that to you. وَعَدْتُكُمْ فَأَخْلَفْتُكُمْ I gave you a whisper in your hearts and I promised you, don't worry. Don't worry about it. You didn't listen to Allah, but you listened to me. فَلَا تَلُومُونِي وَلُومُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ Who are you going to blame? You're going to blame me for leading you to Jahannam was you led yourself. You had the choice to believe the Rahman or the Shaitan and you chose the Shaitan over the Rahman. So don't come to me today telling me what I should do for you. مَا أَنَا بِمُصْرِخِكُمْ وَمَا أَنْتُمْ بِمُصْرِخِي you cannot save me today and I cannot save you today. I cannot come to your rescue today. You can't come to my rescue today. We're both here. We're both here in Jahannam. Basically what his motto is, now we're even Stephen. Because Shaitan wants that. He wants us to go to Jahannam. We know that uh, Satan um, made a pledge with God or declared himself arrogantly that he is going to build up the hopes of human beings uh, such that they will turn away from God. He would lead them away uh, from the worship of the one God. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we know more generally is that Satan uh, builds up the hopes of human beings for a long life in this world uh, and uh, ultimately that uh, they will have uh, good uh, in this life regardless of whether uh, they worship God or not. So he promises them immortality together with immorality. When the final judgment is made and God um, uh, reveals his power and his control, that is when people will realize that uh, Satan has uh, beguiled them and uh, Satan himself will now confess. Uh, I, uh, I made a promise to you and that was a false promise. God has made a promise to you, that was the true promise. But uh, Satan also defends himself against blame because now people know the, the, the score and they begin to blame Satan. You are the one who misled us. Mm -hmm. But uh, Satan's response to that is, do not blame me, but blame yourselves. The extent of my work was only that I uh, gave you this promise and, and you obeyed, you, you followed. Mm -hmm. uh, so don't blame me, blame your, yourselves. And in the end, even if you were to blame Satan, Satan says, I am not able to respond to your cries, nor would you be able to respond to my cries. Mm -hmm. And certainly for the wrongdoers, there is a painful punishment.